U.S. Embassy, Dr. Bangladesh, plus one. Hello? Yes. Hi, good to see you. How are you? Good, how are you? How can I help you? I have probably been more fortunate than I deserve. Uh, I actually need a little bit help. Yes, how can I help you? Uh, since you speak English, uh, looks like that... Uh, let me... Can I ask you a personal question, young man? Uh, yes, go ahead. Are you a U.S. citizen? Uh, yes. Well, how can I help you, sir? What is your social security number? Oh... Uh, What's your what's your question, sir? My question is, what is your social security number? Why do you need to know that? Because I want to be your friend. Oh, you want to be my friend? Yeah, because you're oh. speaking my language, English. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what's your name? My name is John F. Christopher, like John F. Kennedy, American President John F. Kennedy, 35th U.S. President. Okay. So where you are you know, from? Uh, I am John F. Christopher. I am alive, but John F. Kennedy is dead. They killed him in Dallas, Texas. Oh, yeah? Have you been to Dallas, Texas? Yeah. How long ago? Well, I graduated in 1995 from University of Houston, Texas. Which one? Rice? Not Rice. Uh, actually, it's University Sam of Houston, Houston main campus. It's close to MLK Street, Martin Luther King. Sam Houston? Yeah, Houston. You know, U.S. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee raised me and funded for my education. Oh, yeah? What's the U.S. Congress a woman's name? Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. She is also, I'm also known as, my nickname is son of Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee because she funded for my education and she's a Democrat and she also funded for George Bush, Bill Clinton, Obama, and Trump's presidency from United States Congress. Uh-huh. Well, how long ago was this? Well, I graduated in 1995, actually, basically. 1995. Long time ago. I'm not, not a kid anymore. I'm how trying to grow up. How old are you? 39 or what? Yeah, that's exactly it is, 40. You're 40 years old? Yeah. So were you born in Bangladesh or in the U.S.? <laughs> well, actually, I was born in Harris County, Houston, Texas. Don't you understand from my accent? Yeah, I understand. But you know, uh, in, in this uh, you know world of communication, global communication, you can always change your voice through computers and you know laptops and robots and stuff like that. Absolutely. But anyway, uh, the reason why I ask your social security number is because you know when we die and go to heaven and Jesus Christ say, takes our sin no use of our social security number, you know. Um, Franklin Roosevelt created the Social Security Administration. Since then, all the Americans in their minds think that this number is very important, which is not, I think. Uh-huh. Because, Why? Because it, it can only give you a little bit of money when you get older, but when you are younger, this money does this number doesn't come to any use. What am I going to do with money when I'm getting older? You know, I'm not getting any younger. Uh-huh. And the world is trying to live forever, you know. It's in the YouTube, you know, all kind of stuff. Absolutely. What's your name? Uh, John. Oh, like J John Adams, second president. John Hancock, who wrote the, de who was the man behind the co U.S. Constitution, and John Travolta, John, good actor, and John. On Greece, did you watch the movie when it came out or what? Yeah, no, actually, he's one of my favorite actors, John Travolta. But anyway, he's one of the other movie was Broken Arrow. Mm -hmm. You know, when the, you know, the guy stole the nuclear nukes from the stealth plane. And, you know. So, do you, you like to read a lot? Because it looks like you know a lot about the U.S. Uh, history. And well, I grew up in Houston. Do you think people in Houston are stupid? I went to no. University of Houston, I had a 4.0 GPA, and my social security number is 64146492. Actually, I'm the only living American with the name John F. Christopher, like John F. Kennedy. So basically, I know more about American President John F. Kennedy because he's dead and I'm alive. Oh, uh, so, but what books do you read that you know so much? Well, my well, favorite book is, my favorite, favorite book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and Unlimited Power by... Uh, Anthony Robbins. 
And, okay. and Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. Actually, Franklin D. Roosevelt became 16-year president, broke the U.S. Constitution, and became four-time U.S. president by reading the book How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he That's memorized 50,000 people's names, so when the election came, he can sign up and send to 50,000 cards in one hour. Wow. That was the secret of his success. You think so? Yeah, because if you can pe memorize all the people's name, you'd be Napoleon Bonaparte, P president of the whole world. You know, people are more interested in their names than all the other names combined. Yeah, I, I read the book, so I'm familiar. But anyway, you also know a lot about U.S. history because you know you're well educated and come from a good family. Oh yeah. You're well bred. I, I can tell by your. Accent. Personally, I think you're an awesome guy. Thank you, thank you. I take that very kindly. Um, so, so where are you, where are you right now? I'm at home. Where's home? This planet Earth. I'm not from planet Uranus. No, I agree. It, the we Americans, are Americans Earth. are spending billions of dollars in NASA to send people on the moon and beyond. And John F. Kennedy said we will reach the stars and all this stuff. But look at look around. All the poor people in United States and everywhere. Yeah, I agree. There's like what four billion people living in poverty. More two billion that. living under what two dollars a day or something like that. Yeah, but you know the big people stealing a lot of money. That's that's dangerous. A lot of people yeah. stealing money, and a lot of people are trying to go to United States illegally. Yeah. So are you in the United States right now, or are you in Bangladesh? I'm right here where you are, breathing. We are breathing the same air while we speak. So in Bangladesh? Yeah. What part? Well, you know the capital is called Dhaka City. Yeah. And it's a population of, you know... Like 17, 17 million? Oh, 14 million or 17 million. Okay, well, you know, I, I have to compliment you. I love you because I think you're a U.S. citizen like John Travolta. Since you oh, yeah? like him. I wish, I'm I wish sure. I was in a movie like on the... But you know, you know, there are a lot of Johns in the world. John the Baptist who baptized Lord Jesus in Mount... You know? Yeah. You know, Jesus Christ was baptized by John the Baptist. So basically, if you read the Bible, John 3.16 says, God loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, whosoever believe in Him will never perish but have eternal life. Have you ever seen the movie Indiana Jones? Harry yes. Ford? I don't agree. With, I don't really like the movies, but I've seen a few clips of the movies, and I get the gist of the movies. But you know, everybody wants to live forever, and the only way is through Jesus Christ. But who, who you know? Who, who there is no man except Moses has seen God. You know, there is a new movie, Passion of Christ, by Mel Gibson. You saw it? Now it came out about twelve years ago, fifteen years ago. Yeah, Mel Gibson is very you know good actor, like Little Weapon, all kind of stuff, all the actors, but. You know, I think personally, his another all kind of movies are great. Yeah. He, one of his another movie is uh, which one? What is it? Uh, Pete um, Ransom. Have you seen it? Ransom. Yeah. Braveheart. Yeah, that's Braveheart. Awesome. That's, that's the that's the most American like Braveheart. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I've heard of Braveheart, but I haven't watched it. You know, America's nickname is Freedom. Freedom. That's America's new nickname. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's freedom, freedom. Because if you're a real, real American, you would love freedom. You wouldn't be anybody's slave. So do you love freedom or what? Of course, you know Abraham Lincoln freed all the slaves. Why? Because Abraham Lincoln said, if you can bring, give freedom to the uh, slaves, you cannot be free as a white man. So in yeah. order to be a really white man, you have to give freedom to the slaves, the black people. Yeah. Huh. Have you read the letters that he wrote to his cousin? Which one? The one where he says that he, if he, if he could keep the United States as a union without freeing the slaves, he would. And if you couldn't, still you would. If if you can, if you do it, you would free the slave. Yeah, he said that something during the Civil War in 1812. And I know that Grace Fidel, the eight-year-old girl, said that if you keep beers, people would vote for you. 
Yeah. But he, so you know I, why I he, he he should have listened to his wife not to go out because he his wife had a dream that he would be killed and he didn't listen. So when he went to see the American cousin and John Wilkes Booth actually shot him because John Wilkes Booth always thought that he was actually an evil man. Wow, you know that. Yeah, because so, I have wait, Asian American you know so history. Much? And you graduated in Sam Houston or uh, not Sam Houston, ha Harris County, Houston, Texas. Okay, well, but what's the name of the university? University of Houston. Okay, University of Houston. Also, the main campus, huh? Yeah, you know, uh, Dr. Lee, he's vice president of university. He's husband of Congresswoman Sheila Jackson. He was my vice president. I used to work in in his office, so that they adopted me because they were feeling lonely and they thought that I was good for them. So they, my name is also John. So they took me as their son. So when did they adopt you? Well, uh, in 1997, actually. They adopted you in 1997? Yeah, I'm known. You got YouTube? I can show my uh, things in YouTube. What's your name on YouTube? Okay, go to YouTube and type uh, Son of American Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Son of American Congresswoman what? Sheila Jackson Lee. Sheila as in S-H-E-I-L-A? No, S-H-E-I-L-A, Sheila. Sheila. Yeah. It's an African-American oh, name. So is it the first link? Yeah. One? My mom's first name is Sheila, S-H-E-I-L-A, Sheila. And middle name is Jackson, like Michael Jackson, and last name is Lee, like Lee Harvey Oswald, who shot John Kennedy. Uh-huh. You can hear my conversation with my dad. So which one are you? My name is John F. Christopher, like John F. Kennedy, like I said. I know, I know, but which... Uh... You know, Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492, right? If he didn't discover America, we wouldn't have Bill Clinton. We wouldn't have George Washington in the first place. Uh, I think you should read a different book. I mean, yeah, he discovered it, but there was already people living here, so you can't discover something that there's already people living here. But, you know, if you, if you didn't take those three, seven ships from the Queen of Isabella, there wouldn't be a big continent, United States. He was looking for spice in India, but actually he found the Indians, and he named them Indians, but actually my, uh, American of Vespucci came and said that, no, he, he proved wrong. It's not India. It's another continent. So he named it after him, America, uh, for American of Vespucci. If they would have given uh, all the credits to Columbus, then we would have American named Christopher Christopher. So yeah. the history is a little bit different because of what happened. Yeah, I agree. So uh, uh, everywhere in the world, people are making history. You and I, we are two souls. We are also making history while we speak. Yeah, because like the chances of us actually communicating right now is very small, huh? Yeah, but in today's world, money makes more influence than any other thing contribution. Even if you go go to church or anything, it's always the money taking first place. Yeah. So where in Dhaka are you staying? Like in Golshan 1, Golshan 2, Baridara? Uh, Actually, I live in Elephant Road. Elephant Road? Yeah. Elephant Road as, in, as like the animal? Yeah, it's the biggest animal, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the biggest mammal on uh, World well, Wars. Well, on, not on Earth, but yeah. on land. Yeah. Descent Road. Yeah. And when did you come back here? Because like, it seems like you know you know a lot about U.S. history, and then you graduated well, out of uh, I have, University. I actually what have happened? I actually, I actually have two friends in the FBI: Christopher Higginbotham and Larry Green. And I had a friend who works in your embassy. His name was uh, Wendy Hemmings. I think he left. Wendy Hemmings? Yeah, he used to work in the human resource section. Uh -huh. He used to call me JC actually. My nickname is JC, Jesus Christ. JC? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Because, you know, my mom, Sheila Jackson, he had a son, Jason Cornelius. So they nicknamed after him JC, short of Jason Cornelius or Jesus Christ. Uh, so that's why your name is John Christopher? John F. Christopher? Yeah. F comes from John F. Kennedy because I love him. Yeah. So you saying Elephant Road? Yeah. What what apartment complex or what uh, house? Well, it's a multi-plan center shopping center. 
So it's a market center. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, to so make the conversation, the listen, there are all kinds of, all my relatives live in Houston, okay? Uh, I can give you their names, Hafiz, Jami, Babu, all kind of names. But anyway, making people's relationship is more important than any other thing in this world. Yeah, if you're a I smart agree. guy, you have access to internet, you can check out who is who and who is what. Uh-huh. Because uh, a lot of people wants to go to the United States to, you know, do the wrong stuff. And I just don't like it. Now, what kind of wrong stuff? You know, hurting other people, lying, cheating, all kind of stuff. Yeah. So do you plan on going back to the United States? Or do you plan on getting another degree or what? Look, I'm getting old. I want to be the president. You know what my name sounds? John F. Christopher like John F. Kennedy. You know, I want to be the same level as the president. What what are you doing to get to that level then? Well, need people's votes. 16,000 signatures from uh, Texas. You get to work for people. So you can take some pictures. Governor of Texas first? To take yeah. out, uh, that was Rick Perry. That, w- huh? that was Rick Perry, governor of Texas. Yeah, that was a while back, though. Now it's uh, Greg about, isn't it? Greg about? Yeah, maybe. But uh, when I was in Texas, uh, there was uh, Rick Perry and uh, um, George Bush. Bush was president. And there were people are always coming and going. But you know, one thing good about Congress is if you become uh, one uh, influential, no one can get rid of you until you die. So my mom, yeah. Sheila Jackson Lee, she's still a congresswoman. She's 67 years old, and she has a lot of money. Yeah. But uh, I'm not after money because I have a lot of money. What I want to do is help people out. That's all. And how are you trying to help them out? I don't know. Just by talking to people, motivating, showing the right direction. You know, if you, if you want to be a leader, you have to take responsibility. That's the first step. Yeah. Second step, think right, do right things. Stuff. I got a lot of education. I got education when I was a kid, so I really don't need education. What I need is good friends. Good friends? You don't have any, many friends here or what? Well, I have friends there, Bangladeshi, but I need friends like who are, you know, Bangladeshi American or speaks English. My language is English, so, you know, even I am bilingual, I can speak two or other terms, but basically English is the best way to express yourself. Why is, it, why is English the best way to express yourself? Because Dale Carnegie said it's very easy to make a million dollars, but it's very hard to say a right phrase in English. What do you mean? Like the word, I love you. It's an expensive thing. Mm. Yeah? To, to a certain extent, yeah? Hmm? Excuse me? To a certain extent, yes, I agree. Yeah, like, you know, when people grow up, they got responsibility, they can't really do what they want. You are here because you're doing somebody's job, so you're really not free. Okay, I can see what you mean. Yeah, because always there is the big boss. Yeah. But anyway, you know, tell you the truth, Bangladesh is a very not peaceful country. A lot of stuff's going wrong all the time. And you see it on YouTube all the time. You just go type Bangladesh News today, you see it. So the world is full of sometimes crap and sometimes other things. But anyway, having a good conversation with you. You got a pen? I can give you my email. Uh, yeah, just let me, let me um, write down your email. Let me grab a pen. Okay. Son. Okay, what's the... It's son of, son of U.S. Congresswoman Lee. There is a dot after each word at gmail.com. Come on. Oh, hey, so tell me what happened. Like, wh- How did you come back to Bangladesh if you were in the US, United States and you were adopted? Well, it's complicated. I well, would, tell a story. My story? I would need yeah. Britney Spears to tell my story. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll go hire Britney Spears or I actually just reenact Britney Spears and tell a story. Yeah. She's a good singer. I like her voice. Yeah. So what about the story? Tell me the story. Well, there is nothing much to say. The only thing to say is John F. Christopher is still alive, and I'm doing a lot of good stuff, and I'm happy for myself. So whatever the past, just put it behind. Like, uh, 
you know, Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And I'm just doing for my country, United States, that's all. Yeah. Mm. You know, by heart, by heart, I'm American, that's all. Huh? By heart, I'm American, like you. Okay. So well, here's my you, email. I thought you said you were Planet Earth. Listen, those were just, you know, stuff when I, I saw a lot of fantasy movie, but, you know, when you grow up and when you see the real thing is too tough, you just back off. What do you mean? Like, you know, the planet stuff. Like, NASA do, does a lot of things which doesn't really need in Bangladesh because it's a poor country. And people's mind you can't change because these people are poor. They don't need NASA. They need money. They don't need rocket science. What they need is food for their families. And they send their children and kids immigrate to the United States. They work there and they send money here. So it's they're hoping that someday their kids are going to get education, go to the United States and bring a lot of money to Bangladesh. That's 95% of the people's mind works in Bangladesh. Have you, have you read The Beautiful Forevers? Yeah. I, what is it about? Well, you know, we've been winkle, and a lot of, there are millions of books, but you know, not all of them are in my mind. But what I know is the Humpty Dumpty, and that is that uh, Wizard of Oz, you know, the cowardly lion. Yeah. But anyway, your education is different from my education because I really didn't want it to be a uh, political person. I wanted to be electrical engineer because my major was electrical engineering. But since I got, an electrical engineer? Yeah, my major is double E, electrical engineer at University of Houston, E. Cullen Building of Engineering. It's in Scott Street and it's very close to Rice University. I actually one time went to Rice University for walking in the morning and I saw other professors running there because John F. Kennedy made a lot of speech about exploration and outer space and moon uh, on Rice University. That's where he first gave speech for landing a man on the moon. Yeah. And you know what I love about Kennedy? Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon not because it's easy, but because it is hard, because that goal will help to organize a nation the best of our energies and skills, because that challenge is one we are willing to accept, one we are willing to postpone, and one we intend to win. So I love Kennedy. So you saw this you movie, we, you saw this movie, you, Kevin Costner, JFK? NASA doesn't fit in Bangladesh, man. These people are more uh, backward than slaves. Slaves were slaves had more brains than Bangladeshi people. So, so, so what's the problem with NASA? Because NASA is a public uh, no, company. There is no problem, but don't spread NASA in this country. It's an uh, anti-NASA country. They would stop you. They would bring money, waste money, and do nothing to make engineers. Okay, have you seen Bangladesh producing engineers? No, just businessmen. Businessmen are not engineers. It's two different things. Black is not white, white is not black. Okay, so when you're taking funds from NASA to develop Bangladesh and you're telling people you're, we're going to send people on the moon and when you ask them who's Neil Armstrong and they can't say it, it means nothing, man. It's bullshit. Yeah. This is just waste of billions of dollars and somebody's playing this game and I don't know, it's not me. Uh, because what you, when so Bangladesh what you, is proud that he's going to do something like NASA and when you ask, hey, do you know who's Neil Armstrong? You say, no, never heard of him. Then how are you going to go to NASA? You don't know who's the first man on the moon. Huh, your whole education is crackpot and even a kid in the United States knows it. Hey, so what do you do on a daily basis then? Nothing much, you know, just want to be your friend, that's all. Okay, you got, you, I'm pretty sure you do some stuff with, on a daily basis since you know so much. I'm a blogger. I, you well, know, I got a nickname. Hard. Listen, I got a nickname. A nickname is B.H.O. Barack Hussein Obama. You know how it got my name? My first name was Shubo, S-H-U-B-H-O, which means good. Okay, it's an Arabic name, Shubo, it means good. The spelling of Shubo is S-H-U-B-H-O. I cut the first three letters, X-X-X-B-H-O. B-H-O means Barack Hussein Obama. My email is B-H-O, Barack Hussein Obama dot U-S-A at gmail.com. That's my first name. 
Ah. Okay. My name, Shubo, is registered in the U.S. Social Security number. My middle name is BHO. Okay. And the name John F. Christopher, that's given by Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee because they wanted to meet like JFK because they were Democrats and close to Hillary Clinton and they wanted to see me because I memorized John F. Kennedy's speech. They wanted to show, see me like JFK. So they put my name John F. Christopher. But my real name is Triple X B H O, which is Barack Hussein Obama, which I am proud of because Obama is more smart than Kennedy because Kennedy lived in the White House for 100 years and dead, and Obama lived for 80 years and he's still alive. So if you look at reality, Obama is more smarter even he's a black guy. Mm. And you know, Africa has always been a rich continent and a lot of gold in Africa. If the African people realized how much uh, um, gold they have in their soil, they can buy the whole world. Because 75% of the world's gold is in Africa. And it's still not touched. I mean, Africa and Latin America is rich in, in resources, so, uh, resources and what? material. America is rich in technology and diversity. P bringing people from all over the world and making them you know, whatever is impossible to make it possible in the United States. But in yeah. Africa, you had a lot of large continent. Africa is uh, twice or three times larger than the United States, but people are not educated and on communication and a lot of lack of technology, but they don't know what to, how, what to do. If, if the history would have, would have never bring slaves, they would not have got the freedom to be a free man and talk for their skin. So basically, the white people did a great thing for the black people by taking them to the United States, so they know they, their rights. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree to that. But well, okay. if you look at that way, if 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 they we didn't have slavery, history would have been very different. Black people wouldn't say, "I'm a free man," like a white man, because skin color only matters in the United States, but not in other countries. In in Bangladesh or India or Pakistan, skin color means nothing. Okay, uh, they d doesn't judge you by your skin color. They judge you by your um, race or na uh, religion or how you look like. But, you know, American people judge people by skin color, like are you white or black, Hispanic or Asian. That doesn't belong here. That's why Obama said there is not a black America or white America. There is only one America, the United States of America. Because yeah. a lot of people are trying to divide the United States because... The bigger you are, the harder you fall. You think so? Yep. Mm. So where in Elephant Road do you live? Well, it's in a multi-plant center. So live on the street or what is it? Oh, no. I got a very big community over here. Uh, my uncle, he's... Uh, President of largest computer market in Bangladesh, multiplan center, computer city center, which is the all the people who are doing computer business is working under my uncle. Mm -hmm. So people are bringing computers from China and doing business over here. It's millions and millions of dollars of business. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And these people are extremely rich and well connected and they are uh, they have access to all the computer shops in Bangladesh. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and they are in big competition with the United States because they love the United States money but they don't love the United States product because their mindset is different and they always want to beat the Americans. They want to use the American technology and beat them. So whatever the United States government is doing for Bangladesh is just working against it. You got what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, sort of. You know, a kid who, who, a kid who watches CIA website for kids, they would figure out what's going on. Whatever is going on in Bangladesh is totally anti-American. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. They're wasting our money. And average American kids are starving.
That's why John F. Kennedy said that I'm not satisfied when we have over $8 billion of food. Some of them is rotting, even though there is a hungry world, even though 4 million Americans wait every month for a food package from the government, which averages 5 cents a day per individual. I saw cases in West Virginia where children took home part of their food la school lunch in order to feed their families because I don't think we are meeting our obligations towards these Americans. And see, I'm American. I'm always fighting for Americans. Mm -hmm. You got my email? Son of U.S. Congresswoman Lee? Yeah. Okay. Send me an email. Let's be friends on email. And you want to come to our market? It's uh, Multiplan Center, Computer City Center, and my uncle's name is Tofik Ehsan. He's from New York City. And I don't... Yeah, and I don't know his social security number. I'm pretty sure you have access how to find out with his name. It's been lovely talking to you. Uh, likewise. Have a good night. Okay, send me an email at uh, US. Congresswoman, son of U.S. Congresswoman Lee at gmail.com. John. All right, thank you. Okay, have a nice day. Bye. You too, bud.